Welcome back to the Physio Bros. Today we're going to be looking at the best exercises to help strengthen your quads and help you condition them, get them feeling stronger, build muscle mass and ultimately bulletproof them. This video is for you if you're looking for a bit of variety in your training program, if you're looking to strengthen through range, if you're coming back from injury and trying to prevent re-injury, or even just looking for another way to challenge yourself, then stay tuned because these exercises are going to help you achieve all of those. Now before we start strengthening your quads, it's important to know a little bit about them. So we're going to get the marker out. <laughs> the quads consist of four muscle bellies. The first muscle is on the inside of the knee, which is vastus medialis. Then the next one is rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, which is the outside muscle. Now there is another quad muscle, which is vastus intermedius, which is too deep and you can't really visualize or palpate it. These muscles go from your pelvis and come together and attach at the kneecap, which then go on to form the patella tendon and attach to the shin bone. These muscles extend the knee, which is important for standing, walking, running, jumping, pretty much all activities which involve you being upright. So guys, one of our favorite quad exercises is the leg press. Now, of course, you've got your double leg press, which is nice and simple, great way to build strength and add a lot of load. But our favorite variation, especially if you're a runner, is the single leg press. So what we do is we go into a nice deep range and as I'm going into that deep range, we're putting a lot more tension through that patella tendon and ultimately targeting a lot of your quads. Now, of course, you're gonna get some gluteal activation deeper through range, but it's kind of a meal deal exercise and it's great for building strength for quads, but also your glutes. The next exercise is the reverse Nordic. So you're going to start off in this kneeling position and then you're going to be leaning back, trying to control the movement with contracting your quads, and then you're gonna push into the ground and come back up to the starting position. It's really important to try and keep your hips and your trunk straight. And as you get better at this, you can move further through range. Now, if you've ever had a knee injury, like a meniscal or ligamentous tear, when you're in the later stages of your rehab, this is a great exercise for desensitization in a kneeling position. You're getting a lot of your body weight through your knee and through your patella tendon. So this is a great exercise to desensitize and strengthen through range. The next exercise is a step up. Now this is a really easy exercise to build endurance strength in your quads. All you need is a step and to perform it properly, you're gonna stand on the side of it, facing either forwards, backwards or side on. And as you perform this, you're gonna bring your heel down to the ground, tap the ground, and straighten your knee to stand up. Now another variation of this is to stand sideways. And all you do is you go into the same position as before, but in this variation, you're gonna bring your knee over your toes. Now this is a great way to load your patella tendon and to build strength through your quads. So the next exercise is the Bulgarian split squat. So you're gonna get your back leg up on a bench. You can either have your foot flat or you can have your curls toed, whatever's up to you. Your front leg is the leg that you're gonna be working out. And so what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be sinking your hips down and getting a good bend through the knee and you'll feel all your quad muscles absolutely burn during this exercise. You're also gonna get a really good glute contraction through your range as well. Make sure that you work out the other leg as well to even things up. So your next exercise is your leg extensions. Now this is gonna to have to be done at the gym on the machine, but it's a great way to work your through range quads. Now there's a few variations you can do for these. So you can turn your feet outwards and rotate your legs outwards, and this will target your VMO or your inner quad muscle. Another variation that you can do is a sustained isometric contraction. So you're extending your leg and then holding at the top of the range. Again, we want you to target three sets of eight to 12 reps at your targeted weight. So we know a lot of you out there have squats in your workout routines and we definitely want you to continue doing squats for strengthening up your quads and your legs. What we've chosen though today in these exercises is ones that are more targeted towards quads specifically. So some things we want you to look out for when doing squats. As it's a double leg exercise, if you do have any imbalances or compensations, we wanna make sure you're incorporating the exercises that we've said previously today, because working single leg at a time is gonna get rid of those imbalances and help even you up. Secondly, the things to look out for is your loading patterns of your knee movement. So there's a couple of different patterns called valgus loading pattern and varus loading pattern that we just want you to consider when you're doing your squats. So we'll start off with a valgus loading pattern. And what that is, if your knees are collapsing inwards when you're working through your range. So you're getting that almost L shape in your legs. 
what you need to think of then is, is do you need to strengthen up your glutes, your external rotators of your hips? So it's a really good way is to cue yourself through the movement. So think about your knee range as you sink down, trying to aim your knee to your third or fourth toe as you work through your range of your squat. The other loading pattern is a varus pattern, which is just the opposite. So your knees are collapsing outward into that external rotation from your hips. So again, it's the same cueing method to improve that. It's aiming your knees in a line as they go through range between your third and fifth toe, coming down like that. So consider these variables if you're having any issues with your quad or leg strengthening program. But if you feel like you're being really successful with preventing injury and your strength program, then don't feel the need to change anything. There's hundreds of different exercises that you can use, but these are our favorite quad bulletproofing and strengthening exercises. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Please remember to subscribe. It's completely free and it means the world to us. Like and comment, because we have plenty more on the way. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>